Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I am really excited for this one out of two reasons. One, because I love traveling and packing in general and second, because minimalist packing was something I've been interested in since I was like 10 years old. That had nothing to do with like minimalism in general, but minimalist packing was always something I tried, I wanted to master and I've become better and better at it. So today I want to share with you how I pack for a 10 day trip to Switzerland. We will be in the mountains for five days and we will also be like in the house I grew up in for another week. So we need to pack different things for different environments, but let's get started. I use a backpack because we go to the mountains because I want to carry my stuff and because that is the backpack, the only backpack that I own that I use for everyday use, for grocery shopping, for traveling, for going to the university when I back when I still was in university. So that bag is what carries my stuff around in general. And this is it. It's the Wakes One. It's a modular backpack that you can um, attach a camera cube to, that you can make smaller and bigger, that comes with a lot of other like accessories. And it's made by a small startup in Berlin. And I love that bag. You know, I've been talking so, so much about it and it's just the bag of my dreams. And I'm very, very excited to share with you that they actually reached out to me and that they gifted me one of each of their bags. And since I don't need so many bags, I'm gonna make a giveaway, which I'm gonna talk about a bit more at the end of this video. So for now, I just wanted to share that this is the bag I'm going to use. And if you are interested in purchasing your own Wakes One or one of the other Wakes products, you can check out the link down below in the description. I love this bag because of like how genius and thought through it is. And also because it's a sustainable brand. So they try to make a product that has high quality, always make sure that the people working on these bags and manufacturing these bags get a living wage and just paid enough. And the bag is also made out of plastic bottles. So not, not to like 100%, but I think over 90%. So it's really a product that I can stand behind and this video is not sponsored like they just give me these bags and with me making a giveaway and sending them to you and covering the shipping i will actually not make any money but now let's get started with the packing portion of this video and i'll just take you along and show you what i'm going to pack for 10 days in switzerland what i love about this bag is like the different pouches and things that it has but also that you can open it like a um, suitcase. So I can open it completely to pack if that's making anything easier. And I also have like a laptop compartment here with an extra entry so I can um, get to my laptop without opening up the whole bag. Yeah. So I made a list of all the things that I need to bring and now I'm gonna like collect them to pack them and to see if I can fit it in this backpack or if I'm going to like attach a camera cube for extra space. So this is what I want to bring to Switzerland. The only things missing right now is my camera and the microphone that I'm using right now. So let me show you what I'm bringing. I'm bringing my sleeping bag because in the cabin we do not have anything else. So I need to bring that. I'm also bringing this small leather bag to give it back to my mom. It belongs to her and I don't really use it. I'm bringing this new Wakes bag. It's the Sling Mini that will just fit my like documents, my wallet and things like that. My rain jacket, my rain pants, three pairs of socks, two t-shirts, a pair of shorts. I'm wearing a long, um, pants so that's what I will have when it comes to pants. My swimsuit, five pairs of underwear, a packing cube that I want to pack everything into. Then we have my sun hat, some extra masks and then let's move on to the more tacky stuff. Like this is my wallet and things we need um, like for my son for example as well. Then I have like the adapter because in Switzerland they have different outlets. I have the charger for my phone and my camera. It's the same one. I have my pocket knife. I have 
um, a cleaning tool for my camera, an extra battery, my headphones, then toiletries. I'm bringing sunscreen, a toothbrush, tweezers, plasters, a small pocket towel to dry my body off, deodorant, lip balm, um, toothpaste in the uh, white thingy. And I'm also gonna bring a soap, but that's still in the bathroom. This is the pouch, it's gonna be in the red one. And then we have my hard drive, my laptop, and my laptop charger. I bring these because I do plan on working and also my water bottle, of course, during the trip. In this backpack already, there is the rain cover for the backpack and a tote bag that I always have in there just in case I need some more storage. I'm still unsure if I want to bring my sandals. This is the stuff I want to fit into my backpack. So let's start and see if it's possible. So this is uncompressed and this is compressed. It's quite a bit smaller. So I'm happy with that. So my sleeping bag is also something that just takes up a lot of space. And if I didn't need to bring it, I just wouldn't bring it because of course it takes up a lot of space. But I think when we talk about packing in a minimalist way, it always is about balance. Balancing out what you really need and what you are willing to carry. So for me, Sleeping without a sleeping bag, sleeping without a blanket at all would be very uncomfortable. I'm sure I wouldn't die, but it would be so uncomfortable that I'm not willing to do it. And instead I'm willing to bring like 600, 700 grams of sleeping bag with me. And I think that just goes for everything, especially now that I'm, I'm like hiking there. I'm like hiking to the cabin. I um, need to make sure that my backpack is not too heavy or otherwise it's going to be very um, inconvenient. So for example, I'm only bringing two extra t-shirts and for 10 days, of course, that means I'll need to do laundry, but I'd rather bring only two t-shirts instead of bringing like seven t-shirts, apart from me not having seven t-shirts, but um, then, so I'd rather do laundry than carry so much more weight. And the same goes for everything else. I think a good question to ask yourself is always, what is the worst thing that can happen if I don't bring that? And for the sleeping bag, the worst thing that can happen is that I have several nights of really, really bad sleep because I'm really cold and uncomfortable and I'm not willing to do that. But for example, the worst thing that could happen if I don't bring a fifth t-shirt is that I need to do laundry one more time and that's not that bad. So let's continue packing. So this is the situation right now. I have packed everything into my backpack and since it is a roll top, I do have a lot more space if I need to bring more or like bring more back. And I will also like pack just a little bit of food because we will be on the train for like eight to nine hours. So we'll need to have something to eat. So that's gonna go into the top here. And that is just my small new wakes bag that carries will carry my phone that's currently still in my pocket and my wallet. Um, I still want to share you the Wakes system and how these backpacks work. So the Wakes system is just a very versatile system with a lot of individual parts that you can buy individually, that you can put together individually to get a whole range of different kinds of bags out of not so many individual pieces. So what I have was the travel bundle, the first products that Wakes came out with, and it consists of this day bag that I've packed right now to go to Switzerland and also the camera cube that you can attach to the bottom of this bag. This camera cube comes with a camera inlet if you want to buy that. And it's also great to use as a cooler bag. Of course, it has a strap so you can use it as an individual bag when you arrive at your destination to go watch the sunset with some cold beverages or with your camera equipment, for example. It also makes it possible to add a padded hip strap to the whole backpack. So you have like a big travel backpack with a supportive hip strap to go on like bigger adventures. And now they sent me their newer products. One thing they sent me is their day pack compact which is the same identical backpack just in a smaller version i also have it in black my boyfriend is going to use it because he needed a new bag and he wanted to have it in black all their products are also available in black so you can see now it's 
this is the other color and there is quite a difference in size but the features are completely the same but the other newer products that they have come out with are again compatible with the bag I have to add them to that bag to make an even, even bigger bag if you need that. You can add the day pack mini to the backpack and you can also add the sling combo and then you just have like the maximal amount of storage. With my backpack that I'd have combined with like the original Wakes One and the Camera Cube, I have about 45 liters, but like that you get another, I don't know, 20 liters maybe. But since I am a minimalist, I don't really need these bags, so I'm gonna give them away to you. First, I wanted to show you the Daypack Mini. This is just a very minimalist, sleek and beautiful bag for everyday adventures. It um, comes with the same look and it also has a compartment for maybe an iPad or something like that and different other pockets, but it's not as versatile. Like you cannot like zip it apart and together with other pieces. It's just a very minimalist day pack. But the sling combo is a lot more versatile again, if that's something you like. You can wear the sling as a backpack, as a crossbody bag. You can roll the roll top up or down and you again get different pockets and possibilities to fit your things into. And the sling mini can be attached to the sling as well. Or it can be used individually just as a very small bag to carry your most important essentials like your phone, your passport, your um, wallet and things like that. I am going to keep the Sling Mini for myself. It's something I've wanted for a long time. I actually, just, when I discovered that they would come out with that, I strongly considered buying it and now they sent it to me. So I'm happily inviting it into my life. But for the other things, I want to give them to you because I'm sure there are some of you who could really need these bags. So I'm gonna do the giveaway on Instagram just because it's a lot easier. I can actually write you a message. I can see who liked the picture if that's gonna be like something you need to do to enter the giveaway. So head over to my Instagram account to enter into the giveaway and it will be open worldwide and I will cover the shipping costs and so that just everybody has a chance to win. But if you want to have your bag right now, if you want to have one of the products that I'm not giving away, then you can head to Wakes directly using the link down below in the description. Now this video has gone longer than I thought it would and so we're ending it right here. Let me know if you have any additional questions to, about minimalist packing and things like that. And I hope you liked it. If you want to see more videos, I'm gonna link you a video here and a playlist here that you can watch if you have time and if you want to right now. And I also hope to see you next time. Bye.